My name is Phil Guyman. I was a pro cyclist for 10 years, but at the end of 2016, I realized that I had to quit racing and get a job. I couldn't be the best at pro cycling, so I've decided to be the absolute worst at retiring. This year, when I'm not working on weekends, I'm going after hill climb records on YouTube. So please enjoy Worst Retirement Ever. So we're at like, maybe like the nicest bike shop in the world? What is this? It's the, yeah, there's nothing, no one's doing this. It's like a boutique that occasionally sells bikes and they're, uh, they're dorking out on all my stuff right now. And it's awesome. We got, we got new brakes. We got, they, they drilled some holes in some stuff for no reason. Uh, Cause that's grams. And again, the goal is to make this bike as obnoxious as possible. And I think we're, we're peaking it out. So I missed Palomar by eight seconds. Going into the climb, I, I was so sure that I wouldn't get it, that I had no shot. I, I kind of paced thinking, you know, I would, I would be two minutes down, you know, two minutes faster than my best time I thought would be optimistic, but it wasn't, it was a lot closer than I thought. And I didn't really realize until I got close to the end that it was, that I, I could have squeezed it out to my point. And so that's like the first sort of revelation from, from episode one, from my first mission on Palomar is, is I, I can do this, is the, between the geeky bike and the speed suit and training specifically for, for climbs, I can get all of these. And it, I, it, it's really tough to admit this, but from, from when I uploaded the file and like I didn't know if I had it, I care. Like I can't believe I care and, and it, it sucked to not get it. And I, I just didn't think that any of this, I thought this would be fun and entertaining. I didn't think it would move my emotional needle, but it did. So that's something that I have to deal with for, for the rest of this. And this is also funny to admit is I'm, it's really fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I like the idea of taking something silly very seriously. That, that appeals to my soul. I could cut off a couple centimeters, I think. Maybe three at the most. So yeah, that, that'd be cool. Yeah. It, it just needs to be a little more noticeable than it is. It's not for performance. It's not for performance as much as obnoxious. And now for grams, mostly, partly for grams, mostly just to be annoying, we will cut more of the handlebars off. <laughs> <laughs> Five grams. How many watts is that? If it got heavier, I'm going to be pissed. I mean, That's what I'm saying. It, it That's might what have I'm saying. Heavier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take 1.1 pounds. That's not bad. 13.6. That's pretty good. That's 13. pretty good. 13.6 from 14.7. So yeah. All right. I got a picture not, of that. Not terrible. All right, we're on the way to Mount Diablo for episode two of worst retirement ever. See, I signaled. You don't in California. You just signal a little bit because if you signal too much, it shows a sign of weakness, and they're going to come cut you off. They'll, they'll close that gap, but you signal a little bit. This is, I learned this from racing in Europe. You just take whatever spot you want. Uh, I'm just gonna take this off, I think, right? So last time we did the, we took off the, the front brake. Today we're taking off the rear. I feel like there's more stopping power in the front in case of emergency. Perfect. Sorry, we just met Freddy and he wants a picture. And he's gonna talk to me for a minute. All right. I am a Peel uh, fan, <laughs> so I follow him for a long time on the social media. All right. And I just can't believe it. That I'm so excited, man. Thanks for coming, Freddie. I mean, steady on this because after the base station, it's like kind of flats and bumps uh, parts. Mm -hmm. So there you can recover a little bit. Recover a little bit and yep. beat some more time. Because okay. it's a little, yeah, it's a good part to, for recovery. Mm -hmm. But uh, you gotta be ready for the for the end because it's kind yeah. of steppy but okay. I know you, you just go man you, you're a man <laughs> all right yeah all right, I'll see what I can do uh, let's get a picture of sure me yeah I don't want to waste your time no no you're, you're I'm wasting yours all right Mount Diablo it's uh, just outside of San Francisco 
We raced the Tour of California. I was always working for somebody else. There's two records if you look at the, the files online because the parking lot kind of splits. So right at the end, there's two different ways you could go. So one year Tour of California raced one way, the other year it raced the other way. My plan was to go to the right because that would be not the wrong way on a one-way road. And that was the way it raced uh, more recently. Uh, that record was by Rowan Dennis, who I was on his team in 2014. We were teammates. I kept him out of the wind that whole day. I brought him water and, and ice. And it was. I remember it being hot. I'm the only reason Rowan won, is what I'm saying. The, the record is either Lawson Craddock or Rowan Dennis. Neither of them are dopers. I know that part of my whole mission thing started with a, with a doper takedown but a lot of people requested I, I go for Mount Diablo. And kind of what I thought at, at, at first, A, if I only go after doper records all year, I'm probably gonna be 0 and 10. Maybe that's fun for you, it's not fun for me. I don't wanna make this whole thing about doping or anti-doping or beating dopers. The whole doping thing really like was a cloud over my last decade of my life and my racing career. And I'm not gonna let it screw up my retirement too. I'm gonna go to the mountains that I wanna go to and I'm gonna do my best. If it happens to have been a former doper we go for, awesome. If, uh, if it happens to be Lawson or Rowan, uh, it's less personal, it's just as much fun, and it's marginally easier. That's the end. I think the end is the gate, or around the gate. <laughs> Run under the gate with your Garmin. It's too late now. I didn't get the record anyway. It was close to, depends on where this finishes. The anticlimax continues. But I'm not going through that. <laughs> even, with, even with two rigs, I don't want to go through that. The segment ends through the gate, huh? Yeah, Do you know? It's almost at the top right there. Yeah, but, oh well, we'll see. Well, we're gonna, I didn't hear what you said. No, it's all good. Do you know where the, the Strava segment goes? Oh, yeah, it goes to the top. It goes, yeah, yeah so. it goes to the 3849 sign. So you can't even... Uh, yeah, they're just now opening it, too. <laughs> That's cranking, though. You just KOM'd it for sure. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah? That's the point. You gotta get to the top to KOM it. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had it, though. <laughs> if you did it in you 5... Heard, you heard the man. Yeah. You did it in 548? No, no, no. 30... Uh, 38 something. Yeah. 538. You heard the man. He said I got it. Yeah. You got, I got it. it. You got Take it. Take that, Rowan. <laughs> right on, Rowan. <laughs> I can tell how fast you're moving. That's it. <laughs> so Diablo did not go as planned, as is the nature of being a fake pro athlete, and uh, no one's closing the roads for me anymore. So there's nothing I can do. The, the park rangers, the park rangers don't care uh, what I'm doing. I'm in their way, and they're not going to open the gates for me, and they might close the gates for me out of spite. And so that's what we're dealing with in worst retirement ever. But, but there is a silver lining. Initially we were looking at there was the fork in the road and I had to choose which segment I was going for and then the other segment would have been irrelevant. Uh, so what we got now is we got basically a very good benchmark to the fork, which covers both of those segments. Um, so you can compare my effort to your effort, to Rowan Dennis's effort, to Lawson Craddock's effort, uh, to everyone else who's, who's ever raced up that climb. I don't have regrets. Like Palomar, I had regrets. Palomar bothers me. Palomar, I, I've, I've, I've lost sleep over Palomar, and I will continue to do so. Uh, Diablo, I, I did 420 something watts for 40 minutes. I can't do a lot better than that. I never could do much better than that. As I'm, as I'm flying up that climb, I knew I could tell right away, like, oh, I'm going 20 miles an hour. I'm in my big ring a lot. And I sort of remembered previous times I raced it, and it's a very draftable climb. It's, it's much more draftable than Palomar or, or Baldy. I got the record for Baldy, and that made me think I could get anything, because Baldy, I remember that being a hard race, but the reason that I could get Baldy was because it's so steep, there's no drafting. So it really is more of an individual effort. This was more of a team effort. This was, there were drafting, and, and I'm competing against, it was, it was five guys on Sky trying to drop Rowan Dennis. Um, turns out I'm not, I'm not that fast. I couldn't even, this guy wouldn't even sign me. Nonetheless, uh, could I hang on to them? But, but I'm happy with how close I came. But we are 0-2 for worst retirement ever, which I guess we'd be 2-0 if it was the best retirement ever. But we're 0-2. Hopefully I get one of these, you know? It'd be nice to get, if I'm 0-10, I'm gonna be pissed.